Hello everyone, in this video we have a problem that says let R be the region in the first quadrant bounded by the x-axis y is equal to ln of x plus 3 and the line x is equal to 4. The region R is the base of a solid. For the solid, each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is a quarter circle. What is the volume of the solid? And <laughs> that's actually supposed to be a question mark. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is try to draw out what this problem would look like. And when we're when we have like a volume problem with cross sections, we normally want to also draw it in 3D. First let's draw it in 2D. So this is the oh <laughs> this is the x axis and this is the y axis. Okay. The the graph of y is equal to ln of x plus 3 will look like here would be negative 3 and here's negative 2. This is like a vertical asymptote and it's y is equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 2. So the graph would look something like this. And here is ln's... And here is ln 3. Here, it's ln3 if I wrote it too small. And then we also have the line x is equal to 4. Oh, I did not draw this very correctly. Here's 4, and this is what x is equal to 4. And since we're just focusing on the first quadrant, we, we can shade the graph in here. Also for the solid, each cross section perpendicular to the x-axis is a quarter circle. So since it's perpendicular to the x-axis, it would be parallel to the y-axis. So I'll draw something like this here. And this length here on the bottom would be dx. Okay, now I'm going to draw this graph in 3D. And keep in mind that this is the quarter circle. You just can't see it because it, it, it like comes up. You'll see what I'm saying if, when, after I draw this. Okay, so this line is the y-axis. This line is the z-axis and that would make this line the x-axis. So first let's draw the function y is equal to ln of x plus 3. 3, let's say, okay, here's 1, 2, 3. Let's say here's 3 and this here is negative 3. So this would be the line x is equal to negative 3. And this is negative 2. So we have a dot here. And so the graph would look like this. And it's supposed to actually pass through this point. And this is the first quadrant. And the line x is equal to 4 would be this one. And so this is the part that we shaded in when we drew it in 2D, in two-dimensional 2. And since it's parallel to the y-axis and perpendicular to the x-axis, this would be um, our cross-section. And if we draw our quarter circle, it will look like this. Okay, so this would be our quarter circle. And also, now we can find a volume, right? The area of a quarter circle is pi, oops, sorry, pi r squared divided by 4. 
And so the volume of this would be the area multiplied by dx because that's like the depth. And this is just the, the volume of just this one cross section. This, this is only the volume of this one quarter circle. And so if we were to find for the volume of just this whole thing, then we would have to take the integral from 0 to 4 of pi r squared divided by 4 dx. And what's, what's the value of r? Well, the value of r in two-dimensional is this length here. This length is r, which is also called y. And y is also called the ln of x plus 3. So we could write this as, we could write this as the integral from 0 to 4 of, okay. r is equal to y, which is equal to the ln of x plus 3. And we also have dx. And then, oh, sorry. We have, we can take this integral by using by parts twice. Although pi divided by four can go in the front since they are just constants. Like I was saying, we can integral this by hand by using by parts twice, but since that's going to take a long time, I'll just write the answer for you guys, approximately. The answer to this integral would be 8.0378. Thank you for watching everyone in this video. I just found for the volume of the solid to this problem here, and we got approximately zero, I mean 8.30378 as our answer. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a great day.